Hi, I'm Dr. Cobbs again. Welcome back to BrainCancer.org's lecture series on brain tumors. The topic of this discussion is gliomas. The first talk or lecture was basically to describe brain cancer. And in that talk, I stated that when someone says they have a brain tumor, they often uh, are referring to multiple different types of tumors. In just terms of the numbers, the most common kind of brain tumor is a metastatic brain tumor that comes from the breast cancer, for instance, or melanoma. However, what one of the most serious types of cancers that we deal with from the brain is called is a glioma. And the gliomas are tumors that arise from the brain tissue itself. Um, so in this lecture, I'm going to try to give a brief overview of what are the different types of cells that can give rise to gliomas. Um, and what is the uh, importance of those and what are, are the manifestations of those tumors. So, uh, the brain has multiple different types of cells and when the brain has uh, a stem cell, these stem cells can give off daughter cells and these cells can become essentially one of four types of cells, neurons, astrocyte, oligodendrocyte, Dependable cells. If you take, for instance, a slice of the brain we have here, and you did a slice right down the middle of the brain, you would see an area where fluid is contained in the brain, and that's called the ventricular system. And the cells that line the ventricular system, especially um, in certain areas, uh, are full of stem cells, even in the adult brain, which is something we didn't even know about 20 years ago. So if you were to take some of these cells that line the ventricular system in the brain, for instance, they grow in little clusters. These cells are giving off daughter cells that will grow into these various types of cells. The neurons typically have a cell body and give off a process that goes to connect different cells to make the thinking process of the brain. The oligo cells are the cells that wrap around the neuron processes and insulate them. The astrocytes are the cells that, as in their name, look like stars and sort of hold all this stuff together like the scaffolding. And the ependymal cells are a specific group of cells that just line the membrane that surrounds this spinal fluid cavity. So these guys, astrocytes, oligo cells, and ependymal cells are called glial cells. And a brain tumor that's called a glioma can be similar or derived from any of these cells, but not really from a neuron. So let's talk about the current thinking of what causes the origin of a brain tumor, and that will be our next lecture.